LeBron, Luke had mentioned that it would be defensive practice only. Was that true to form? Yeah, a lot of defense today. A lot of terminology, or was it more um, We got a lot of smart guys. We got a lot of veterans, and then the young guys that was already here last year, they already know the terminology, so we picked it up pretty fast. What have you learned about what Luke is like as a coach? Uh, give me some time, please. Give me some time. <laughs> it's only two hours. Answer. Give me some time, please. <laughs> please, please. What, well, let me ask this then. What do you anticipate your relationship being like with him? You've spent a little time around him, even though he hasn't been officially coaching. Um, I think it's going to continue to grow over time, just like uh, all my coaches I've had in my career, uh, in my life period. I mean, if you were to ask me what my relationship would be with my first high school coach uh, when I was in the ninth grade, I told you it would have been terrible because he cussed us out every single day at practice. Keith Danbrod, I love you. <laughs> I do love you. Dave, you know that. But our relationship grew more and more, and he ended up being the, probably the best coach I ever played for. So, you know, just give me some time. What was the major difference between the pickup games and today's organized practice? Uh, you just said it. Pick up, organize. Right, okay. Yeah, there you go right there. So, you know, pick up. You know, you want to try to just, um, you know, you want to win the games, but it's more for the conditioning factor. Um, and today is more strategic. You got to have your mind in it, you know, a lot more um, when you get out on the floor. LeBron, I know it was only two hours, but could you get a little sense of what the competitive makeup is? Is some of these guys you didn't know coming in? Nah, I didn't need today's practice to know what our competitive makeup. I mean, that's what uh, Magic and Rob and obviously Luke wanted. Um, that's why they handpicked the guys this year. In either the pickup or the shooting competition after practice, is there anybody on the team that you like competing against that you like being on the opposite? I compete against anybody and with anybody as long as you're about winning. Um, and I think that's what we have. So uh, I can't give you a lot of information off one practice. Um, it's going to continue to grow. But I, I love um, our locker room uh, so far. And um, but we have. We have a lot of work to do. It was a good start for us. There's been a lot of talk about the personalities of the veterans, right? Beasley, Rondo, uh -huh. Javale, and Lance. Um, what do you like about those guys? I love everything about those guys. And I'm the last one to ask about what people have said, because I can care less. Well, you commented that they were the misunderstood, uh, underappreciated attorney. Mm -hmm. I just wondered, what do you feel like people misunderstand about them? Uh, well, I was just answering what Lance asked us to do that follows him. He said, what would you name this group? So I named it. LeBron, when you have a new group of guys like this, what are the most important first steps to becoming a cohesive unit? Um, dedication, um, attentiveness, and, um, and and how locked in you can stay. Um, you know, that's what it's all about. I mean, we, we are here for one reason, one reason only, and that's to uh, someday host the trophy. And that's that, obviously that's the end of the road. Sorry, that's the end of the road. But you have to have those type of championship habits every day. So, you know, not only on the floor, but off the floor as well. How, how's your patience in general with kind of build, building this up from scratch, like you said yesterday? Uh, I'm not a very patient guy, but I understand that I have to be um, you know, patient, you know, right now. I'm, I mean, I got to be patient with myself, too, because this is um, this is a new start for me. You know, it's my first year here. It's my first year in a new system. Um, you know, I know how to play the game of basketball, but this is all new to me too. So, you know, I have to be patient with myself, not only with my teammates, but more uh, with myself. Based off your early impressions, this striker is, is a hungry group. It's hungry for success. Um, listen, everyone's excited to get back to work. And, um, and that's a good thing. You know, no one's um, coming in today and, you know, wishing it was still summertime. Everybody's excited. It's the best time of the year. Basketball season is back up. Baseball season is on its way to the playoffs and the NFL is in week four or week five. So, you know, what could you ask for as a sportsman? LeBron, the LA fan base, how do you expect to earn their, their respect and, and earn their loyalty? Who, me? The fan base, yes. Me? Yes, you. Huh? <laughs> Just what do you say to the fans that say they want to see you and, and earn their respect? Uh, I'll sign a four year deal. How much more? I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I mean, that's, we talked to them outside of here yesterday. And listen, that's listen, I signed a four-year deal. I'm here, so. I mean, I know what I bring to the table on the floor. LeBron, over the years, you've obviously figured out how to enter a training camp with your body and all the work that you put in. How has that, how has that evolved? And, and at what level, how do you kind of figure out how to approach the day one versus the, the rest of the camp? I was talking to a few guys today. I told them, um, listen, uh, no matter how much you train, uh, there's no uh, simulation for when you actually get back on the floor. You still feel tired and banged up and things of that nature. And then I follow that by saying, just imagine if you didn't do anything, you know, how would you feel? So, um, you know, I'm always uh, keeping myself in the, you know, in tip top shape as much as you can, without, you know, obviously playing basketball every single day, but um, it makes it a lot easier for me to get back into form. Um, you know, knock on wood last year. Um, sorry. 
Yeah. Last, <laughs> last year I had a, a bump in the road in the preseason. Dave, you know about that, obviously. Um, but um, feel good so far, and uh, we want to continue to. Having been in eight straight finals, you said it's going to be different in terms of the patience that you've got to have, but you've also oh, admitted before that patience is your kind of worst. It forward. is. It is. Uh, what can you do to work on that? Uh, you know, bring in my, my, I guess i got to bring in the approach that I get from home. You know, when you have three kids, you have to be patient. You have to understand that, and I'm not calling these guys kids because they are young men here, and, and, and some, you know, these men have families as well. But you learn that you have to be patient, and you have to gauge um, everyone, you know, individually very different, you know, to get the most out of them. So, you know, it will be a learning. It will be uh, every day will be a better learning tool for me to see, you know, ways I can get the most out of each and one of these guys. Last question, your, please. Last question. This team that you do have a lot of guys who can handle the ball. You have a lot of young guys in terms of, um, of reducing the strain on you a little bit as, as you get older. Um, I mean, it's it's great. I mean, listen, I think we have uh, so we have dynamic team. We have the ability to play multiple ball handlers, guys that can do multiple things, that can run, pass, shoot, jump. Um, have guys that can uh, also think the game. Um, you know, as far as me, I'm gonna play you know, how I've always played, and obviously, uh, you know, that's always been team first. You know, I know I've had to handle the ball a lot of the last couple of years, um, but you know what? You look at our makeup of our team, guys that can handle the ball: Bi, Lance, uh, you know, Zoe, uh, Kuz can break out as well. Um, you know, Alex, you know, he can push the ball as well. Um, you know, Rondo. So we got guys that can. Um, Handle the ball so much so that you know I can always get to my spot and get out on the floor and run, which I love to do a lot, anyways. And especially in my Miami days, I did that a lot by being able to get out because we have ball handlers down there as well. So um, it'll be interesting to see. 